hi guys welcome to my channel i hope everything is okay in your life with the june 15 2022 update all servers received the culture and lv updates this update is still very fresh and most of players information about this region is incomplete or insufficient that's why I made the decision to shoot a series about this slot in Calfeu and Elvia. When the shooting of all the regions is finished, I will probably have learned a lot about sports, about everything about this zone, and I will end the series with the last video, which is General Guide of Calfeu and Elvia. Please do not forget to check other videos in channel. Enjoy watching. In this video, we will check Primal Giant Post Area. Recommended AP for this area is 290 Kutum and recommended DP is 380 DP. This area has its own unique mechanics that we can encounter while grinding. These mechanics help us a lot to get not bored during grind period. When you come to this area, please do not forget to get your daily quest from the NPC. These quests give the same rewards as the other regions and they are all finished in average of one hour grind period. If you wish, let's take a look at the drop item list of the slots without wasting time. Okay, Calfen Territory, Primal Giant Posts, drops are same as other grind spots, the difference is at Scornal Spear, Trash item, 20,000 silver per each, and also drop trace of battle that we can use in alchemy. And also tethered shadow, this is trash item for unique bosses. Crystallized despair, corrupted breath, scorching sun shards, mass of pure magic, sealed black magic crystal, blessed soul fragments, black stones, and ancient spirit light. That's all. In this slot, as in other slots, there are three special bosses. These are Gigagord, Ogre and Cyclops. I'm still working out the mechanics of these bosses and I won't talk about how they are killed in this video. Please be careful when the bosses respawn so that you do not face the danger of that with very sudden damage please be careful i grinded for one hour to prepare this video and encountered with gigagord once there were two bosses in sound video i think both spawns are related to rng2 i used yellow scroll and 50 million tent buff while grinding in the spots you will find the grind results at the end of the video where i explain the mechanics I will also add the special scenes that I encountered during, during the grind time. If you wish, let's move on to the mechanics without further ado. The slots are arranged very nicely in packs of 6 to 12 and I had a lot of fun while grinding and almost never got tired. The packages are generally close to each other and if you wish you can kill them by using overpull tactic at the same time the spawn time of mobs in this area quite short it provides you to stay in small zone and additionally there are too many mobs in this area maybe more than six people can grind on a server at the same time this slot is mechanically similar to braggy den braggy den is in serendia alvia spots you might know it, it's 240 AP spot. When you kill mobs, you encounter a gradual situation. As you can see on the screen right now, a purple light appears after you kill mobs and stays there. The spirits of the package you kill the mobs, spirits transfer to this purple lights and it feeds this purple light. When this purple light reaches a certain point, it matures, becomes a mature and becomes a circle. 
As soon as you enter the circle, you encounter the text you see on the screen right now, and many mobs are moving towards to the center of circle. You come across different possibilities in this area. When the circle is active, weak mobs and big mobs can uh, respawn. This is purely RNG, I think. Maybe it's not RNG and there is a deep and detailed mechanic, but I haven't figured it out yet. I'm sorry for that. If you successfully kill all of them, big mob or mini boss, how you call this, can appear. But do not forget it's RNG based. Everything is RNG based in this mini game. Do not forget that. If you kill this big mob, you will receive 1 minute 15 attack and cast speed buff as you can see on the screen right now. This yellow buff. There is also low chance to get Gekaku mini boss when you kill this big mob. When you encounter with this message, wait to Gekaku respawn and you can kill it as you can see on the screen right now. Okay, I tried to talk about the mechanics of the slots in general terms for you. I hope you like this content. Please do not forget to share this video on your Discord channel and so that people can reach more information about Kelfi and Elvia. After one hour of grinds, I got a drop where I get over 500 million pure silver. After giving this scene on the screen, I will leave you alone with additional scenes. Enjoy watching.